Hi everybody, this is Ray Ogilvy from Hartsville, South Carolina. And today I'm at Stokes Quarry, located on the southern edge of Darlington County. Now the quarry is no longer active. And the pit has filled in with water, producing the beautiful lake you see here. But not that long ago, this pit was very active, producing tons of sand used in road construction. It also produced some very important fossils. The shells you see here are from the Pliocene and are two and a half to five million years old. But despite their age, most of these species can still be found living in our oceans today. Except we're about 70 miles from the ocean here. Here's an olive shell. This is South Carolina's state shell. And this appears to be one of the nutmegs. And one of the turids. Now these snails were all carnivores. And they would have been feeding on the many different kinds of bivalves that were also living in the ocean during the Pliocene. Such as the bittersweet clam we see here. Now as old as these shells are, there are fossils out here that are much older. Let's see if we can find some. Okay, here we go. And this is one that I would expect to find. Now this is the tooth of a shark known as a squally corax corpi, or more commonly known as a crow shark. This shark was living at the same time as the dinosaurs, and like them, it went extinct 65 million years ago. And this is one of the most common Cretaceous age fossils that we find around here. This shark would have been about seven feet long, and would have looked pretty much like a modern day shark. And it was both a hunter and a scavenger. Now besides all the cool shells and shark teeth, this site also produced some very rare and important dinosaur fossils. I was standing right here some years ago, looking up this hill, and spotted this. This is the claw of a dinosaur called an Ornithomimus. Now this is a replica. The original claw from which this was cast is in the Charleston Museum. Ornithomimus means bird mimic. And you can see in this picture that the dinosaur was very bird-like. It even had feathers and a beak at the end of its mouth. But unlike birds, it had a long bony tail and hands with claws on them. 
this dinosaur would have been 10 to 13 feet long. Now you might look at this claw and think it would have made a really good weapon. But many scientists looking at this dinosaur's lightly built body and slender arms feel that it would not have been able to inflict much damage. Its best defense was its long powerful legs that gave it the ability to run away quickly. Some scientists have proposed that the claws were used to move branches out of the way as the dinosaur probed its head in and out of vegetation looking for nuts and berries. I could imagine this claw being useful for scratching around in the soft dirt looking for grubs. Now it's no use looking around for fossils of its teeth because it didn't have any teeth. This dinosaur probably had a very bird-like diet. Like the crow shark, the Ornithomimus died out at the end of the Cretaceous.